Now, Gem Fields, which operates the Kajem Emerald Mine in Zambia, opened an auction of emeralds in Lusaka today. Now, the second sale is to be held by the company. Uh, it's the second sale, rather, to be held by the company in the capital this year. For more on this, what we're likely to expect, and also developments in the emerald uh, space, uh, Ian Hairbottle, CEO of Gem Fields London, uh, joining us on the line. Uh, Ian, thanks for joining us as always. So, if you look at the first auction that was held in Lusaka, that, of course, was low quality emeralds. Um, um, but there was a 7% decline in the average per carat prices that were paid at that auction. This time around, it's a high quality auction. You've had, I suppose, a little bit more time to understand dynamics of hosting an auction in Lusaka. Uh, so what expectations do you have at the start? Yes, thank you. Good afternoon and thank you for having me on the line today. Um, we're very excited. I have to say, you know, over the last few months, we've had a number of interactions with government. At some stage, there was clearly some level of confusion between us and them in terms of where to go and what to do. But the interaction over the past uh, month or so between ourselves and our partners in the business of government of Zambia has been fantastic. And it's very transparent, very open, very committed uh, towards the success and growth of the industry, which all bodes well. So basically, as you're saying, a higher quality auction, the material is beautiful, it's fantastic. The weather in the soccer is great, which always makes a big difference when you're looking at beautiful gems and great sunlight. And so we're very uh, positive and buoyant, and we're expecting good results coming from these auctions. So tell us about the caliber of investor that you've been able to entice to come to Zambia and, of course, uh, rerouting them from the usual destinations uh, like India um, that, that you usually hold the auctions at. Yeah, you know, obviously, when we want the best uh, quality, we always have a, a policy within Cargen and Gem Fields that who we sell to is as important as how much we sell for. Naturally, it's very important to get maximum price because we know how hard we work to get these gems out the ground. But we also look for people who can cut them, polish them, market them and promote them in such a way that continues to build and grow the industry. Uh, we're very pleased with the caliber of people that are attending the auction. We have companies coming from New York, from Israel, from Germany and from India. And a number, I'm very pleased to say, a fair number of Zambian companies as well. There were one or two that last moment said that it wasn't ideal because of you know, the venue, etc. But I think overall that was a minor on the side. And overall, we're very pleased with the participation and the enthusiasm that we're seeing so far. Let's just go back to the relationship with government as, as you see it now, because the Mines Minister was at, uh, at, the, at the auction open today, and of course I suppose that's uh, something that you're reiterating there, a much more positive relationship, uh, and saying that they, com they committed right now to the development of the gem field sector, given uh, the contribution it can make to the economy. So, um, so do you see that uh, the, the commitment that was made today uh, will be in good faith going forward, and that of course they will continue to support your efforts uh, to still export and beneficiate outside of Zambia? Yes, certainly. I've got no doubt. As I said, I'm very encouraged. Uh, for various reasons, there was a, you know, it, it was a little bit challenging over the past while, but we've been interacting on various high level and continuous interactions with the government of Zambia. Just prior to my call, I was having an, a, a significant meeting with the government uh, board member, Mr. Six, Dr. Sixus Mulenga, on our, our board, and he certainly is somebody who fully understands government's vision to drive the economy and drive the growth and success of Zambia and understands there's a long history in mind and definitely understands the sector. So when you have a government that's committed to helping you grow, committed to not just the company which they partners, but the sector and the country as a whole, and you have you know, technical people on your board who understand the challenges, it makes a very big difference, very encouraged. Yeah, and let's take a step back from government relations because, uh, of course, it has been at the forefront of uh, the Zambian developments. But tell us about some of the key technical developments on the mine right now, innovations when it comes to mining of emeralds specifically. You know, it's uh, well, just saying that uh, to, to my fellow board member is that emeralds have, or gemstones in general have been around and valued for many thousands of years, and yet it probably gemstones, coloured ones specifically, have some of the lowest level of science and knowledge and understanding in terms of how they form, how to get them out the ground, e economically, how to market them and how to promote them. So mm -hmm. certainly when it comes to car gem, but I think it's, we believe we're the leading coloured gemstone mining and marketing and company in the world, it's a matter of constant growth. And uh, we're investing heavily into constantly improving the science, improving the technology, and in looking to reduce our operating costs 
and promote our product in such a way that builds demand. And uh, we, we've had a great year. We've just finished um, our last calendar year, which ended the end of June. And it was a phenomenal year. I think that we were very pleased with the production and for the demand for emeralds, Zambian emeralds in particular, continued to grow. So the development is we have a great mine and, a, and we're looking over the next three to five years to double our production from that mine and hopefully through continued marketing and promotion can add an extra you know, factor from added revenue and we'd certainly like to treble our revenue over the next three to five years. So a very exciting place. And I was just recently in Las Vegas, and one thing is clear is the world's love for color is certainly coming back in, in, a, in a very big way. We're very excited about that, but we hope uh, and we want to do everything in our power to make sure it's sustainable.